three, two, one, zero. And lift off of the Parker Solar Pro. The Commercial Crew Program is focused on launching humans safely to the International Space Station with our partners Boeing and SpaceX. If you take a look above you, you might see the station flying overhead. Today, we're going to tour some of the facilities and tools that are being used to help prepare astronauts for the next generation of spacecraft. Hi, I'm Rachel Power, and today we're in Building 9 at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. This building is known as the Space Vehicle Mock-Up Facility, which is why you can see an impressive number of realistic space-related vehicles here. If you take a look down here on this side of the building, this is the forward section of the station where you can see the Japanese, the American, and the European modules. And over here on the other side of the building, just out of view, are the Russian modules. Let's head out and take a closer look at some of the other training tools that are used by our partners. Let's go. We're making a quick stop here so you can see what the outside of the Starliner looks like. This is a full-size mock-up of Boeing's brand new space capsule. Although space capsules tend to look similar, each one is extremely unique. So mock-ups like this one allow astronauts to get acclimated to the physical elements of a spacecraft because you wouldn't want to get to launch day and not know how to get to your seat. Let's head inside. Now that you've seen what the outside of the Starliner looks like, we are sitting inside Boeing's mission simulator. Part of the realistic atmosphere is you may hear reaction control jets firing. As technology advances on Earth, it does in space as well. A touchscreen has never been used on a spacecraft as a major instrument in the past, and it certainly is a modern approach. But you'll also notice there are still physical controls, and these are used for critical systems that you wouldn't want to rely on a digital screen for, especially in case of emergency. Now, while the astronauts do receive plenty of training on the systems here, each astronaut will also receive extensive training on the spacesuit that they'll wear while operating these systems. Boeing's spacesuit is a brand new custom design. Major features include advanced designs at the joints for flexibility, a soft helmet with a zipper enclosure, and lightweight and comfortable boots. The astronauts will receive plenty of support while they're training. So we're gonna head down the hall where we can see where the trainers sit. This area is sometimes referred to as the bridge, where a team of engineers and technicians will support astronauts while they're operating the training devices. This team is able to monitor the instrumentation, the systems, and the astronaut movements. The data gathered will help improve the hardware, the software, the interfaces, the overall quality of the training process, and the actual Starliner. In addition to helping the astronauts become familiar with the basics and gain confidence with using the systems, this is also a great opportunity to simulate when things don't go well. So the operators are able to throw in failures and hazards into the simulation so that astronauts can be prepared for when things don't go according to plan. Now that we've had a closer look at Boeing's tools for training, Let's head over to Hawthorne, California, where SpaceX is preparing astronauts for their Crew Dragon. One of the best ways to help train and plan for operating a brand new system or technology is to build a replica of it. This is a simulator of the Crew Dragon with a fully functioning avionics system inside. Here, the trainers and astronauts will be able to walk through an entire cycle of suiting up climbing on board, getting seated, strapping in, and walking through the entire checkout, launch, and orbital procedures. The control interface is streamlined with many of the operations taking place on touchscreens. There are still those physical buttons that are essential to flight operations, the things that you wouldn't want to lose the ability to do if your display went down. The spacesuits that the astronauts will wear aboard the Crew Dragon they may look like something out of a science fiction movie, but they are designed to meet the rigorous standards set by NASA to protect the astronauts wearing them. They combine the ability to pressurize with flexibility of movement, which is key to astronaut safety. The plan is always the spacesuit is a backup, which contains basic life support, 
and communications in case of an emergency. Now, let's head over to Mission Control, where SpaceX teams will monitor the Dragon spacecraft and the crew aboard throughout its mission to space and return to Earth. We're standing in front of SpaceX's Mission Control. Prior to any launch, the flight control team will undertake a significant amount of training in order to prepare for an actual mission. Just as training helps astronauts better understand the systems, the flight controllers get a ton of great experience training and working with the people who will be using their systems while in space. Both the astronaut and flight control teams will have an opportunity to become familiar with how the other operates, learning their tendencies and preferences, understanding each other. This is a beneficial experience all around. Now it's said that practice makes perfect and that's what we count on at NASA. Whether it's training in a pool, a classroom, or a full-size spacecraft simulator, we train hard. So when it comes time for the real thing, we're ready. Now that just about does it for today and we've only covered a fraction of it. There's always more. Astronaut training is a process that constantly evolves. And as we better understand new techniques, we work to put them into practice. So just like you, we never stop working and never stop learning. We'll see you next time as we prepare to launch America. Okay. Hello, I'm Kathy Leaders, Commercial Crew Program Manager. Thank you for taking a tour today with Commercial Crew.